Oh, you're awake. Finally, <laughs> I was starting to think the whole time travel thing didn't do wonders for your small human brain. Yeah, look to left, would you? Welcome to... Da -da -da! The future! Yeah, I, I, I know it doesn't look like much, but the future is what you make of it, and we made kitchens. Lots of them. In fact, right now, you're currently standing in kitchen 40,008,007,123, which is a very, very special kitchen. You see, after the great spatuling of 2026, all human and animal lives were replaced with spatulas. Even the molecular guys weighed down with primordial goop were transformed into tiny flipping amiibos. This was caused, of course, by the great Count Spatulus, the ruler of our world, of our universe. The great god that came down and shined his light when... Wait. Why am I telling you this? It's useless information. If I tell you this, you might go back in time and change our glorious, spatulous future. I mean, not that that would be all bad. I mean, being a human would probably be pretty cool. I'm getting ahead of myself. Right now, you are standing in a very special kitchen. The kitchen of Count Spatulus himself. I know, honestly, it's an honor. I would love to be down there with you, but I'm fairly certain my mere presence would send you immediately into hysteria and kill you. We, we, we don't want that, right? That's exactly what I thought. Now, how about you take a look at your new and improved body? You're in significantly less terror than I thought you'd be in. Well, maybe don't take a look at any reflective surfaces during your stay here. Anyway, um, I need you to make a delicious meal for his honor, Count Spatulus. Exciting, I know. Now, um, keep in mind, I may have acquired this kitchen with, uh... Less than legal methods, but I'm positive you'll see use with it. Why can't I do it? Um, that's none of your business. I'd reckon you could fold in a nice fluffy egg for his honor. Or you could use those new hands and mix up some batter and turn over some French toast. Stir some tasty caramelized onions. Okay, listen, I know for a fact you personally have stood around some stir fry and cooked chicken for burritos. I know you've even scraped out the last bit of smoothie with a spatula, just like that one. I believe in you, you. How about I fill up some time with some spatula facts? Got a whole book of them right here. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, did you know there are eight different types of spatulas? I did, of course. I, I, I do. I'm a spatula. Uh, <clears throat> They're separated into three main categories. Flippers, spreaders, scrapers, and a fourth lesser known one, Jacob. The one who stole your girlfriend in high school and dumped your bike in a lake and blamed it on your sister's cat and you miraculously believed him. Uh, uh, what else does this book say? Uh, did you know spatulas were either created by John Spatula in 1525 when he did not add the correct amount of beets in his soup, slammed a pot lid down, and permanently crippled his right hand? Oh wait, there's more. Or Horace Spatula in 1600 who made it to kill houseflies. Or in 1800 by Hans Kruger who had a dispute with John Spatula that Kruger had made it, made it instead. Or Galleon, a Roman physician in the second century who made a gold spatula and used it to mix medicine. Does it not know? That's dozens of centuries! How dumb can one book be? Da, da, da. Ah, here's a good one. Did you know the word spatula comes from the Greek word spath, meaning blade in English, with diminutive ula, meaning little? 
They literally call little blade. Did you know that in Latin, spatha means broadsword? <laughs> Never mind, this book is rather cool. Uh, here's the very last one at the very end of the book. It has to be interesting. Did you know that we sincerely do not know where spatulas came from location-wise? Could be anywhere. I'm tired of this book now, human. I have some questions for you. What are your spatulas made of? I heard you guys had wood, rubber, metal, silicone, plastic. You guys used to make them like gold, like the old book said. Here, spatulas are made of... You know, never mind, actually. Do you actually buy all those types of spatulas for like 15 to $20 at any old store? That's pretty messed up. Oh, oh, this is my favorite part. Look at that duck. God, you really are a master at this. I'm glad the machine managed to grab you. I, I, I mean, I chose you. It's as if you had experience having spatulas for hands. <laughs> That's such a silly concept, though. Right? Right? Personally, I'm partial to the scraping method. It's something that we... I mean, uh, the silicone spatulas are amazing at. Getting every last bit of jam from that jar, removing just the perfect amount of icing. Oh, it's just wonderful. You know, I had a cousin once, wasn't your average spatula. He had a normal handle, a fine wood, but his top was like a flat metal stick. Not to brag, but um, his specialty was spreading. He could spread anything. Honey, sauce, jelly, concrete, preserves. He was at the top of his line for his work in the butter industry until that pesky butter knife came into his life. Come to think of it, are butter knife spatulas? You know, the name's just the knives, but I suppose it's got the slender handle and the flat top, but is it really a spatula? Change of plan, buddy! I've taken into consideration what is and is not a spatula. Ta-da! What are spatulas but tiny swords, anyway? Okay, human, get cooking.